Well, the Tirupati Prasad, Prasadam controversy has reached the Supreme Court today. Religion and politics cannot be mixed. Uh, uh, that's what the Supreme Court said on Monday while hearing three petitions over allegations that animal fat or foreign fat was found in the ghee that was used to make the Tirupati Srivari Laddus or devotional offerings fed to the deity and given to devotees at uh, the Andhra Pradesh's Tirumala Tirupati Temple. Now, the court took a dim view of the Chief Minister's public statements on this contentious issue, particularly as it's uh, administration had already ordered inquiry into the findings of a Gujarat lab uh, July report claiming that fish oil, beef tallow and lard were found in the key. When you, the uh, chief minister, hold a constitutional post, we expect gods to be kept away from politics. If you had already ordered an investigation, what was the need to go to press? The lab report came in July. Your statement came in September. The report is not at all clear. That's what the Supreme Court has said. In fact, it has begun uh, hearing uh, the pleas that are linked to the Tripati Ladu Rao. Uh, and this plea seeks a probe on the charge that animal fat was used to make the ladus. Going across to my colleague uh, Sunil Prabhu, who tracked. Uh, uh, the Supreme Court for us. Uh, uh, Sunil, tell us uh, what do what are the petitioners uh, seeking and what were the primary observations of the court today? Well, I think uh, the most important thing is that they have come down very heavily against the constitutional authority, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Mr. Chandar Babu Naidu, for speaking out even before uh, he had ordered the investigation. Uh, he had already gone public uh, and found uh, that it is highly un uh, not uh, appropriate for him uh, to have gone and made those public remarks. Uh, for an hour, the Supreme Court heard the petitioners, Mr. Subramani Swami, who said uh, that this will hurt the faith of the people, the sentiments of the people, uh, in, even prompting the Supreme Court uh, to observe and say uh, that, uh, you know, uh, keep religion away from politics, leave the gods away from this. Uh, and then uh, saying, uh, on a, uh, you know, after hearing uh, uh, Mr. Lutra from the Andhra Pradesh government, uh, that there is no prima facie evidence, as, they, as, as the Supreme Court pointed out, uh, to show that adulterated ghee was used. There's nothing uh, that has been shown so far. The adulterated ghee was not used in this case. Whether it was mixed or not, that also the AP government was not able to come clean on. And more importantly, on various other aspects of the investigation of the samples that were used, how they were taken, and uh, the fact that the SIT was ordered after the public utterances of the Chief Minister of uh, Andhra Pradesh, making it clear uh, that lakhs of people and their religious sentiments have to be taken into account and don't play politics with this. Right. Thank you, Sunil Prabhu, for joining us with those uh, critical details. Also joining me now is Uma Sudhir, who reports on Telangana and Andhra Pradesh for us. Uh, uh, Uma, you've been reporting on this case from day one. Tell us, who are these petitioners and what was it that the petitions were, seek were seeking? So there are five petitioners who have gone to the Supreme Court and the case that came up today was uh, the one that the plea of Dr. Subramanya Swami who had argued on five different points asking about uh, whether the uh, contaminated samples were actually used for making prasad or was it a sample that had not been used and it was a rejected sample that had been sent, whether these samples had been collected by the uh, testing lab authority themselves or the uh, all the temple authorities or uh, whether the test itself can give a false positive result and he had also raised this question about whether uh, political interference should have happened in this case, uh, saying that uh, the chief minister should not have spoken about it because it hurts the sentiments of several people. The court has now said that God should be kept away from politics and then the chief minister uh, should not have made the statement even as a probe has now been ordered by the SIT. It appears now that it is possible that the SIT that's been ordered by the state government may be replaced by another uh, SIT or any other agency that may now be ordered to pro probe in this particular case. And uh, the, uh, the, the other contentions that uh, the uh, petitioners had brought forth, they had of course asked for a court monitored probe to happen in this case. What we understand is that the hearing of these petitions will now next be taken up uh, on Thursday at 3.30 p.m. But uh, the court did say that uh, the AP chief minister uh, should not have made a statement that hurts the sentiments of the people before the probe report uh, is uh, out and the probe is completed. And then uh, prima facie, it appears that uh, contaminated ghee may not have been used uh, for, uh, for the making of the uh, uh, prasad 
at Tirupati. That is what the petitioner's lawyer had argued in court. So the other, peti other petitioners in this particular case uh, is a Hindu Sena president as well as uh, uh, another petition by Mr. Vikram Sampath, who is in fact asking for uh, the question about the management of Hindu temples, what should be the role of the government and whether the government should interfere in the management of the temples per se. Back to you.